A community meeting has been held on Kangaroo Island this afternoon to discuss the bushfire that continues to burn out of control at Ravine on the island's northwest coast. The blaze has destroyed one home since it was sparked by lightning on Monday and is now burning towards the area of Snug Cove. In the state southeast, three homes have now been lost to a blaze burning between Pathway and Kingston. And the CFS has issued a reduced threat message to the Cudley Creek fire that destroyed 85 homes and claimed one life. And it's those bushfires that have South Australian firefighters on high alert tonight, bracing for a blast of intense heat and gusty winds. Now, Chelsea Carey, we're expecting extremely dangerous bushfire conditions. Well, the temperature will soar to 42 degrees in Adelaide tomorrow, up to 44 in the northern suburbs and even higher in some of our country towns. But it's not only the heat, we'll have dangerous winds. Total fire bans have been issued for most of the state. Extreme danger forecast for the Mount Lofty Ranges here, York Peninsula, West Coast, Kangaroo Island, Lower Air Peninsula and the Lower Southeast. But it's the state's ongoing fires, one on Kangaroo Island, one near Panthaway and a blaze on the Air Peninsula that are posing the biggest threat. If you think about the Cudley Creek fire, it came from one spark. There are millions of sparks out there ready to go tomorrow if they break containment lines. Will tonight the message is clear. Know your bushfire risk and be prepared to act. Yeah, good advice. Thanks, Chelsea. And just as tomorrow's heat is at its worst, an outdoor concert will be underway at Glenelg. Natasha Kramer, organisers are taking safety precautions. They certainly are, Will, and as you can see behind me, final preparations are underway for the Castaway Festival being held tomorrow. Thousands are expected down here on the foreshore and beach, and with that predicted heat, extra measures are being implemented, including more umbrellas for shade, extra water stations, and patrons are being asked to bring towels to lay down on the hot sand. A cooling tent will also be installed with misting fans and ice buckets. It's the first time the dance festival has been held in Adelaide and it'll include an all Aussie lineup of electronic artists including Rufus and the presets. The event is expected to wrap up around 10 p.m. but this foreshore won't stay quiet for long. With an even bigger event being held on Saturday, iconic Aussie rock band Cold Chisel will then hit the stage for their first ever outdoor summer tour. This event will also be taking over the beachfront, Mosley Square and the entire Glenelg jetty. Now authorities say they will be saturating the area and they're asking concert goers to remain sun smart and stay hydrated and will away from the water.